Mungo bridges the gap between craft production and industrial production. We want to be a profitable business in a capitalist culture at the same time as being able to take the time to produce something beautifully. We're a niche market textile producer, much the same as a, as a craft brewer might be brewing beer or distilling gin, um, baking bread, but just we weave. I feel, I can't actually, I don't know why the product is unique and I, and, I, and I don't want to, I don't want to say that this is what it is, but I, it kind of comes from this like, this old world and the perfections within the imperfections. Creating product that's got personality and there are limitations, but we kind of exceed those limitations. Or we work with those limitations to create a modern product. Mango is, has been a, an incredibly rewarding thing over the last, well, well was for the last 20 years, say. But um, recently, as well, of us see the way that the children have taken the business in the direction it's taken it, and the honesty, I think, it's given the, the company um, a future which it wouldn't have had otherwise. I jokingly say uh, I'm a man of the cloth and it is, it's the cloth. For me, it's that first meter of fabric that comes off the loom and still blows my hair back or I'm incredibly disappointed with it. This is one of the first tiles that we did called the summer tile that was woven on the Lancashire looms, which are the oldest looms that we've got and it's got the true salvage from the shuttle and we've just relaunched it with 100% certified organic cotton. Well, you know, I think the thing about making the decision to go organic is not necessarily, we're not even going to let ourselves be, be driven by demand. I think we're not going to give our customers a choice because that's within our company values. And if people want to follow and they want to buy into that, that's good for us, you know. Um, so it's a it's a slow process, but I think ultimately we're just like, well, if you know, if the planet isn't isn't thriving, none of us are going to thrive. My worst part about it is when people look at a mango product and go, oh, that's too special for me, because it's it's that's not what we're making. We're making a, a product that's there to last and is there to be used and there to be enjoyed. We built this, this mill with the specific intention of inviting people in to come and um, view the production operation and uh, to really feel and get a, a, a visceral experience of sound, smell and um, the visuals of the equipment moving. It's a very intense environment. We want to do things differently. We want to set a a new sort of benchmark, particularly within production. Um, and we're in a position where we can do that. And I suppose the external environment sort of feeds that, that, that uh, desire. And so yeah, we have a beautiful building that we can work in. That in turn, I think, translates into the products and into the quality and yeah, I think this is where I think this is where this in this f format things should be made. It's not always practical, and obviously there's seven billion people on the planet, or eight, and uh, whatever it might be now, and so we have to feed that. But in our own way, we want to try and create a, a, a template for how it maybe could be done a little bit differently.